Hey, good evening, America. Today is August 16th, 2019. My name is Tracy Scott. And as you can see, uh, I have no makeup on today. I'm as natural as natural can get. But I thought that it was really important for me to make this video. So here it is Friday night um, after work. I'm relaxed and I'm even in my PJs. Um, so typically around this time at night, I'm going through the comments section and I'm responding or acknowledging that I have read the comment. And a young man, assuming it was a young man, uh, asked the question, what am I walking away from? And so of course I give him the response, you know, pick up a book, read a book, learn your history. And I never expected to hear from him again. But he responded again and he says, yes, I understand that, that I should read, that I should, you know, do this, that I should do that. But what am I walking away to? The Republican Party? Question mark, question mark. And that really got me to thinking because generally speaking, if one person asks the question, then there's at least 10 other people who really want to know the answer they're just afraid to ask the question. So if you've grown up, whether you be Republican or Democrat, that's what you grew up knowing, that's all you know, really what is there to walk away from? Or better put, what are we walking away to? So I explained and I believe that walk away is simply a metaphor. It's a metaphor for freeing your mind, thinking for yourself, relying on yourself, looking at the facts, um, and understanding that we can be self-sufficient. As I've stated before, I believe we live in a microwave society where we want everything quick and we want it fast, we want it now, Heck, we want it yesterday. And that's pri primarily, in my humble opinion, what is causing the problems in America is because people are not encouraged to think for themselves. So, no, you don't have to walk away to the Republican Party. There are other uh, political parties that you could be affiliated with. Personally, I closely identify with the Republican Party because when I look at both parties, the Republican Party is most closely aligned with my personal values. I don't believe in abortion. Um, I do believe in the right to free speech. I do believe in protecting myself. And when I listen to these politicians today, it's crazy. But to go back a little bit further, um, my walk away moment really came when I started listening to Malcolm X. Yes, um, some of you may have learned growing up as I did that Malcolm X was nothing more than a reverse racist and he was this horrible person. But I happened to listen to a speech that he made um, that was posted on YouTube and it was in the background as I was cleaning the house or something like that. And some of the things this man was saying, I thought, wow. I mean, you would have thought this speech had taken place last week, last month, last year. Um, this man was way before his time. But once I listened to uh, his speech on the Democrats in America, and I will go ahead and post the link down below so that you can uh, view it for yourself, listen to yourself for yourselves. Um, that's when my mind really started opening up. Um, do you remember last, was it December, January, when the government was shut down? Well, I will say, go this far to say that my family and I were directly affected by that shutdown. However, uh, we were able to get through it because we are not totally reliant on the government. And no, that doesn't mean that we have second jobs or anything like that. But walking away doesn't necessarily mean walking away from a political party. It means opening your mind and really understanding that 
No one is coming to save you. Think about it. You know, when we want a loaf of bread, we typically go to the grocery store. Um, when we want gas in our cars, we go to the gas station. Um, if the gas station or the grocery store is closed, we are crap out of luck. <laughs> but you know what? If you have some flour in your cabinets and you have some fresh water um, and some yeast, you can make your own bread and therefore it doesn't matter if the grocery store is closed. So I, I just really want to convey that walking away is not simply walking away from the a political party. It's walking away from the establishment. It's thinking for yourself. Um, it's doing your own research and it's not being dependent on someone else telling you what to think. Now, I fully understand that if you grow up in an area where everybody thinks alike, it's difficult to not be in step with everyone else because we all want to be accepted. I mean, it's, it's, it's part of human nature. We all want to be accepted. We all want to be loved. Um, but sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone in order to understand who you are as a person. So after I had my walk away moment, and it really did begin with hearing Malcolm X's speech on democracy, um, excuse me, on the Democratic Party. Um, that's when I started going forth and looking at the history of the Republican Party versus the history of the Democratic Party. I started looking, you know, in my neighborhoods, in my communities, my city. I started looking at my state and I really found clarity. Um, there was no ambiguity about what was going on. I mean, we live in a day and age where, for example, California wants to have sex education for kids starting in kindergarten when most parents don't even start to have that conversation until they're, you know, preteens. Again, we are being, we have put ourselves in a situation where we are reliant on the man's free cheese. We have to get out of that. We and you have to learn how to do things for yourself. Learn how to make that loaf of bread. Uh, learn how to plant a garden. Learn how uh, to do things for yourself so that if something happens, if something big happens and the trucks can't get to Safeway or Albertsons or whatever Trader Joe's, whatever grocery store uh, you typically shop at, that you know that you and your family are going to be safe. So some of the things that I started doing and that I would recommend that you start doing too, of course, it's just a recommendation. You don't have to do anything you don't wanna do. Um, I started saving a little bit of money every single month. So in the event of an emergency, I'm not taking out a loan. I'm not going to uh, be put myself and my family in a situation where we're gonna have trouble getting out of it. I started learning how to make bread. I learned, I watched so many YouTube videos on how to can. And now if you were to see my garage, you would think that I was a crazy canning lady because I know how to can foods. I remember going into Costco and I would see these huge packages of meat. And I would think to myself, my goodness, I wish I could buy that because it's such a great price, but there's no way that we can eat all that at one time. So now I go in and I can those types of foods. Um, I also got chickens. I have seven chickens in my backyard and my coworkers think I'm crazy until I bring them free eggs. <laughs> anyway, walking away is just a metaphor. It's opening your mind, being, respect, um, being receptive to other ideas and understanding that the government is not your daddy. Um, the government is not your daddy. And if the crap hits the fan, even though I love President Trump, I love President Trump, he's my hero, but I also realize and I recognize that if something hits the fan, President Trump and his family are gonna be well protected. And I'm not gonna sit around and wait for the government to come and help me. 
So uh, this young man who had the question, what are we walking away from? What are we walking to? We're walking from, I'm walking from the Democratic Party because they're not aligned with my, um, my moral beliefs and I'm walking to freedom. I'm walking to freedom because I, uh, I can be self-sufficient. Now, one of the things I mentioned to this young man is that um, when the government keeps you dependent, it's easier for them to have control. Think about it this way. Do you remember that uh, time when Colin Kaepernick, the NFL football player, he would kneel for the national anthem? Very disrespectful. Think about it. If he didn't have money, if he didn't rely on that income to keep him and his family fed and going, do you honestly believe that he would have been kneeling for, uh, for the flag? Of course not. And that's why we go to work every day and we comply with the rules, policies, and regulations of our employers because we need that income in order to sustain ourselves. But when you have it, uh, when you have money uh, and you're living that kind of a lifestyle, it's very difficult uh, for people to be able to control you. And that's why we have to strive to be self-sufficient. We have to save our money. We have to learn skills that our ancestors, our forefathers, our grandmas knew. Um, things that uh, are not typically taught in the home or for that matter in schools today. I remember my grandmother-in-law uh, who happens to be a, a 97, 98-year-old white woman. <laughs> she had come to visit us uh, about 10 years ago. Um, and she said, hey, Tracy, would you like to make some butter? And I said, you want me to do what? I can go buy butter. She's like, no, baby, let me show you how to make it. And that was another epiphany moment for me because I learned how to make butter. I, if I didn't have any butter, I could just go out to the store. I would just go out to the store and buy it. She's like, but you have cream in the refrigerator. You should know, you should be able to make it yourself. So that's what I did. So the moral of this story today is really think about what you can do in order to help yourself. Think about if the government were to shut down, how would you feed your family? Think about what you're walking away from and what you hope to be able to walk to. No, I didn't walk away from the Democratic Party just to go, just to walk to the Republican Party. I left the Democratic Party. I, let me take that back. I, I uh, left my close association with the Democratic Party and I'm walking away to what I consider freedom. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or tips and tricks for things that you do um, in order to make uh, your life uh, more uh, self-sufficient, please leave them in the comments below and I will read them. Thanks again and I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful evening. Take care. Bye-bye.